afternoon all, my name's Oz, this is Big Swing Golf. I'm down here at Exeter Golf and Country Club, the Topsham Golf Academy. Big shout out to Chris Honeywell, um, hopefully we'll get him featuring on the channel soon. So he gave me a call, he said, uh, hey Oz, I know you, you're looking for some things at the top of your bag. I'm like, yeah, yeah I am. Ideally a five wood, um, maybe a three wood, a forgiving one, um, to kind of fit in with my six, because my five iron I can't really hit he said we've got Callaway down here for a fitting today so I was like oh cool so here I am like just to give you guys a bit of an overview from five words which is 18 it's an 18 degree five word then go into um, a five iron can't quite remember what the um what the loft is on my five iron slash four iron I realize these are very strongly lofted clubs but I'll put that below but yeah this is kind of going the same distance as my seven iron and my six iron it's kind of a pointless club to have this I obviously bought off the rack so it wasn't fitted for me I think it's a it's a pretty flexy shaft even though I'm not adverse to it you know I get get a good distance out of it so it averages about 200 yards I think the longest I've had out of it is like two three something two three two something like that so it's 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 up there i'm thinking adam might maybe put me in a strong lofted three wood but obviously on a three wood you get the extra shaft length so that's kind of why i like the five wood because it's a bit more controllable i feel like i can hit it out the center of the face a bit more often but yes go in and uh, meet adam and see what he says what's up adam nice to meet you Thank thanks you. for having me today i'm looking kind of at the top of the bag i'm thinking going to woods is something you can do so, with that there's lots of options i mean today we'll start with your six iron see yeah. the distance see how you know how ball flight see how we get on with that there's plenty of different options we can go hybrid we can go fairway woods uh we've got you know utub uws yeah um so we've got loads of options we can see also, how we get on so, so we can yeah. explore if if i'm, I'm obviously spent using your time do i have to buy anything here today or am i is it a taster session to get the clubs in my hands no. so today so today we'll get you fitted up see what specs are perfect for you um, then I'll send the specs through to Chris um, and he'll manage it. He'll send you a quote and if you want to go ahead with it, deal with those guys. There's nothing, don't have to commit right here, right now. Amazing. Go and have a think about it. Oh yeah, I'll, okay. I'll mull it over. Or I'll probably, well, I'm a club <laughs> addict, aren't I? So I just can't help myself. I probably shouldn't have told you that, should I? <laughs> yeah. Right, let's get into it, Adam. Let's go. No, when he's track man, get all the data. That was a good one, wasn't it? How did you get into fitting? So it's always been a sort of passion of mine, always always loved it. Um, and then an opportunity came up with a brand, so yeah, here we are. Were you a Callaway player before? So, well, actually, I used to work at Cobra and then moved over to Callaway. Um, it's obviously a bigger, bigger brand and sort of next step up. And, yeah, loving it. So you obviously use, use all, the, all the equipment now. Do you, um, awesome. When all the new stuff comes out, do you have to like download it all in the head? And like, because yeah. when I see it all coming out, I'm like, how do you remember yeah. all that stuff and the lofts that's available in and the shafts that are available? I mean, thankfully, obviously, I do it every day, all day, every day. So, just sit, yeah, the, sit. Fir the first couple of weeks, it's obviously learning it pretty intensely. And then, yeah, second nature. A few, a few locals. Shut. Sure. There we go. That's more like it. You're bang on. 165 carry. What do I so, say? Carry is king. <laughs> right, let's go for your six iron then. So that's gonna be the longest iron that you'll have in your sets. That's what I so, want to, uh, yeah, finish on iron wise yeah. and then go into woods yeah. potentially or whatever yeah. you recommend. We'll have a look. Yeah, so not happy with the five iron. Let's go for six, see how far that goes. So, what do you say this is on the golf course? Sort of 175? 175 carry. carry. Yeah. It could roll, it has rolled out to 200 in okay, this dry yeah. weather. Yeah. Leaky. In terms of ball flights, is it a bit of a fade? Does it draw? Is it? Bit of everything at the minute. Yeah. Like I'm working with Chris to try and counteract the fade. Yeah. Try and get a more. Ideally, I want a straight ball flight. I don't want a fade. I don't. I just want it straight. I'm lazy, mate. I don't want to walk all over the course. <laughs> like just... You can say that again. Yeah, nice shot. We start with the three wood. Right. We we'll start with that top end. So longest club off the ground. Off the deck. Yeah. So we'll see what our sort of total is with the three wood. Yeah. And then we can work our gaps between. But then we've got we've got the numbers with the six iron. So we're at, you know, 175 carry there. We'll see where we are with three wood. Then we've got the gap, we've got either side. Then we then... Yeah, because I went to one fitter at a 
well-known store. Okay. <laughs> and he said, I didn't have the club head speed for a three wood. So I don't okay. know what my club head speed, I think roughly it's about around a hundred miles an hour. Definitely, roughly. Got, definitely got enough speed. Yeah, okay. Really? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we've got a couple of different heads. We've got the Max and we've yeah. got Max D. Okay. So looks wise, they look very similar. You yeah. couldn't really tell them apart, apart from say, the name Max and Max D. Max D, this one has more weight in here. So what it's going to do, it's going to help rotate the face a bit more through. Okay. Um, so it's going to give you a bit more draw bias. So give you a bit more right to left sort of. Okay. Yep. I want to try and improve as a golfer skill wise as well. Yep. And Chris is trying to get me to do that. Because at the moment, yeah. when I do this swing that Chris is trying to embed into me, yeah, yeah. I do hook it out and pull it left. Okay. So in my head, I was thinking, right, if I get something more neutral, yeah, yeah. and I know it's neutral, then it's not the, the kit, yeah. it's the golfer. Okay. And that's something for me to work on. Yeah. Am I being stupid or is that quite... No, not at all. Not at all. No? Okay. No, that's, that's a good idea. Um, but we'll go with what, you, what, what, what you're saying. I'm just thinking like for me, future-proofing, long-term, long -term, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get better as a golfer. Yeah. What do you reckon shaft then, Adam? Is that going to be... So, judging by, flex? Your, judging by your club head speed, yeah. you're going to go stiff. Okay. You're swinging uh, six iron at around 90 mile an hour. Okay. So we're going to go. We're going to go stiff. So we'll start with our stock shafts. We've got a 10 ply AB blue, 65 gram stiff. That's same as my driver, I think. Okay. Yeah. I think so. Start so. here. It's a good, very good shaft to start with. And then this is sort of mid launch, mid spin. And there's lots of different profiles to stiff shafts. Yeah. You know, we'll say you know this is stiff. Yeah. Uh, this is mid launch, mid spin. We'll have another stiff that's low launch, low spin. So yeah. they all react slightly different. Okay, first swing okay. with the AI Smoke Max. Max. Not Max, D. Max. Max. Bit fadey, but yeah. at least I caught it. So the nice thing with these heads, they're very shallow. If you look at the head sort of depth. Very shallow. Yeah, so I really... a lot easier ball striking off the Yeah, ground. I really like that. I like the carbon as well. I like the look of it. Yeah. It looks quite mean. It looks inviting to hit. Oh, wow. Shut. God, that sounded nice. Came off nice. Okay, so 233 total. What? Very good. Launching a little bit low, spinning yeah. a little high. So that's what we're going to address next. But crack and strike and you know, good potential distance there. That is, um, really good. I wasn't expecting that at all. And club head speed, 98 mile an hour. Um, but we're going to go high launch three wood. So 16.5, 16 did you say? 16.5, just get that launch angle up a little bit. Well, that's good, because that's what, so that's two degrees off my current five wood. Five wood. Yeah. And with the, is the, sh the shaft, I'm assuming, is probably about an inch longer, roughly? Uh, not quite that long not quite yeah so, so yeah. it's, it, but it's about, about the same like that felt a bit longer than my five wood but i reckon maybe potentially three wood high launch and then seven wood that could okay be, that could be a good, op yeah. good option yeah um, this this is the ai smoke max yeah hl yeah so, so 16.5 more, more and it still looks i mean it looks it. wise and look very similar to the previous yeah. head is this one more offset you won't notice it. It's very similar. Very similar. Are I can just see more of the face, yeah. Yeah, that's just a loft. Can that other head be jacked up? Yeah. The only careful thing, when you jack it up in loft, it's going to close the face. Right. So that's another thing we've got to be careful of. So before we start tinkering around with different shafts, I just want to get right. the right head in play first. So I'm going to try the Max D head. Go to Max D. Yeah. See if that helps with dispersion. Head-wise, it will look very similar. They all look very similar. It's just the internal weighting, like I said earlier, is slightly different. So, so where's the internal weighting on this one? It's... So this is more in the hill, so more weight yeah. in the hill. Okay. Um, and slightly more towards the back of the head. Okay. Which is going to make it a bit more forgiving as well. That's going to help. I need that. I need that. So what are you predicting ball so flight this time? So just... just launch a little bit higher. Okay. Um, and when the good strike's been sort of fading out a little bit to the right, yeah. so we should just straighten that out as well. Okay. Okay, just going to change the tag on here, just so we know what we're trying. Next. How many times have you not done that and thought, oh, yeah. loads? <laughs> yeah, too many times. Well, I mean, I've nailed it. If I straighten that out, yeah. see that felt great. 
In terms of head shape, does it look very similar down on the ground? Does it feel, feel and look yeah, very similar? Yeah, it does. Yeah, good. Like the extra added loft, you can see that, but it's not. Yeah. It's actually given me confidence to hit the shot. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There's the launch. 231 total there. But launch angle was 13.6, which is really good. So yeah. double figures now. Because then if my driver's about 250, yeah. ish in that range that's that's bang on that's what i want for that's like a long good. par four par five yeah that's exactly what i'm looking for yeah perfect so i'm going to try a couple of different shafts okay see if we can optimize it a little bit more just help improve dispersion yeah big thanks to adam and callaway for doing this really appreciate it anytime Count. so if a club wanted to get hold of you to come and do a fitting day yep. is there someone they can call and do that uh yeah it should be the reps at callaway golf yep. um alternatively Contact details are on, on the website. Yeah. Um, there are fitting day trackers on our website as well. So oh, if you're amazing. looking for a fitting day, you can also go on there, see where I am, type in your postcode, you know, within 50 miles or whatever. Yeah. See where I am and yeah. You can amazing. Get, and conveniently, there. guys, I would have already have done that and there'll be a QR code bouncing down there now so you can come and see Adam for yourself. Right, what are we hitting here then? Okay, so we have slightly different shafts. We've got yeah. Cardi Red. 70 grams. Oh, stick. okay. So, so is that a slightly heavier shaft? Slightly heavier, slightly heavier, like yeah. Um, and this is going to be a slightly higher launching profile. Okay. So you should just launch a little bit higher. Right, let's put it to the test. Look a little bit, little yeah. bit more spinny. Yeah, a little bit. So, the spin was 2,300. The good thing is that wasn't your best swing. Pulled it. No, bit, no, yeah. They still launched. Yeah, which is what which I want. Key. So, it's going to help you out. So, you've still got 221. Yeah. Mm. I like how this comes off though. It's, it's hot, isn't it? If you pull it, you're always going to deal off it a little bit. No. But that's still coming out nice and high. Yeah. Um, so there, I mean. It's and I will have a tendency to hit down on two, these. 233 total there. 210 carry. Yeah. Which is great. And it, it, feel, it doesn't. How does that feel it, compared to the previous shafts? It, it doesn't feel heavier. They're not. Okay. It feels lighter. Okay. But I am a special boy. Really? Mm hmm. But it's, it's what, five grams? So it's actually a bit more. So this Cardi Red shaft says 70 on the shaft, but it's actually playing, I believe, 76. Okay. So yeah, and about just over 10 grams heavier. What does that do in terms of weight, like in your swing? What's that promoting? So it depends on what we're what we're looking at, and it depends on the person as well. That's that's yeah. the key thing. Um, generally, if someone's missing it quite far left, yeah. if you go slightly heavier, that's going to help out. Yeah. Um, and for someone with your speed as well, going slightly heavier is going to be a good thing. Oh, I like that talk. The gun show. Shut. There you go. There he is. Was that 235? So, stack system's working, 100 mile an hour club head speed. Yeah. What was your guess? 235. Point. Four. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. Right, there you go, guys. Check that out. So, 100 miles an hour, club edge speed, 235.6. That's, That's kind of where where we want it, really. That's what I'm happy about. Launch angle. We're now in double figures. We're yeah. at sort of five degrees earlier. And so I'm hitting down on it as well still. I yeah. could try, but that's just my swing. And to yeah. be honest, I've only had a few swing so far but so that's been rates great that's what yeah I like. that's keeps it in the air as well yeah. doesn't add yeah yeah and then total height we're at seven, 78 feet okay so that's the pass so I mean, we're are you happy with this or do you want to try something else from those numbers i'm very happy and <laughs> I'm, I'm happy with the strike that. has been better as well it's yeah. been more consistent the sound i love the sound of it as well and the nice thing is you got you know as you, you progress with lessons you can change the loft on here so you yeah. can go down, you can go up, you've got yeah. lots of options there. Yeah. So. so this can go down, is it two degrees so and up go, two degrees? You can go down one degree yeah. and up by two. Okay, so I can go to 15.5 yeah, and so realistically I'm never going to... No, I mean... I don't see myself getting any faster. I think it would just be consistency of strike. Yeah, yeah. So that would see me through a few years. That would be awesome. Yeah, Dropped I like, the, three I like the top, yeah. So I think final pick, AI Smoke 3, Max D, H, L. 16.5 degree three wood. Yeah. We're now going to go to seven wood, which is 21. Yeah. So we've got a nice, nice gap in there. Yeah. And then potentially might look at a hybrid or something between <sighs> this. So off camera, we talked about it. I'm going to do it for Adam, <laughs> but I just don't like looking down at high. I always think I'm going to pull it left. I recently just sold my hybrid okay. because I just yanked it left. It was a 24 degree four hybrid. Okay. It was tailor made. 
that's your problem. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> clearly that's the issue. I'm going to give it a go for Adam though, because yeah. you've got to trust in the process, right? And give these give these things a go. So, see how this flies. Wow. Definitely goes up. Wow. I didn't really put <laughs> put much effort into that, and that's still going. That's incredible. How does it feel for you? Less feedback okay. for me. Like I can't tell on the three wood, I could tell where I was striking it. Yeah. On this, I can't. Okay. It feels a bit dead. Yeah, fine. Is that is that making sense at all? Yeah, probably shaft as well. Yeah. Because that's the stock shaft. That's the okay. first shaft we tried in the three wood. Okay. But I mean, in terms of carry, we're at 196. Oh wow, which, which is perfect. Two. Sure. And what we'll do, we'll just spec in the same shaft as three was. Into yeah. This, into this. And you don't think it's going to put any dispersion issues in there, or? It would be better with the Kylie red shaft. You reckon? Yeah, like three with it tightened it up. It'll do the same again with this. And that's not exactly far off. No. Not far so at all. Seven wood, Max D. You you saying I put this in the bag? I think so. Yeah. I'm trusting in you yeah, in this. Yeah, I, yeah. It doesn't matter what I say. I'm trusting in you. Yeah, we get that'll bring the handicap down. Yeah. 100%, you reckon? 100%. Okay. Now we're gonna try the hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. So this is a five hybrid. Yeah. Loft wise, it's twenty four. Your saying I made was four hybrid, wasn't it? Twenty four. Yeah. So, so four R5, hybrid R5, was twenty four. Yeah. Our five is that loft. So we'll start with that. How many shaft jokes have you heard over the years? Oh, too many to count. I bet, I bet. <laughs> but it's a family friendly channel, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Right, so we're going with the AI Smoke 5 Hybrid. And it was 24 degrees of loft, all neutral. And what are you expecting this numbers wise? What are you expecting now? You've seen a few swings, you know what the three wood does. I'm hoping around about the high 180s carry for me that'll, that'll give good. us a nice gap between six iron and seven wood. yeah okay high 180s guys and by the way if you are enjoying this content please give us a like give us a subscribe and i know a lot of you guys are coming back and watching and i really appreciate that too so thank you very much and thank you for callaway for having me oh slightly out of the hill but yeah that's still dead wet. Straight, though okay. okay so i didn't quite strike it but 182 carry like my old hybrid, I think it had a bit more mass at the at the bottom. Obviously, bring the CG to pop it up, but yeah. this feels a bit more evenly distributed, I would okay. say. In terms of the looks, do you sort of like the look of this head? See, hybrids all sort of vary between manufacturers. And... I do like a matte head, but yeah. it doesn't make me want to pound it. Just to my eye, a wood just looks like I know I'm going to yeah. catch it. It might be a bit more of the sort of like old me from years ago. Like, I'm like oh, where I am mean, I going to hit this? With a with a wide sole on a fairway woods, generally it's going to launch a lot higher. Thinned it a little bit yeah, again. A little bit low. I'm not doing this deliberately, by the way. But <laughs> I, can't, I physically can't. I'm not skilled enough. No. There you go. It absolutely bottom. Yeah, I'm not going to hit it better <laughs> than that. <laughs> One eight nine carry. <laughs> Look how happy he is with that. <laughs> Look how happy. You can hit a hybrid. <laughs> I can hit a hybrid. Okay, you proved it. No, and that felt really good to be fair. So six thousand spin, which is yeah, well, good. Obviously more loft is missed. Yeah, more. hitting a bit more down on it because obviously it's a bit more like an iron strike. Okay, no. okay. so what have we got here? Nine wood. So twenty four oh, degrees. Oh. So this is the max. We don't yeah. we don't offer max D in this. Yeah. There's so much loft, it's not beneficial putting more weight in here it doesn't make enough difference so okay, no. you just got the max head oh there we go then it looks so not like this i'm already like i just want to hit it because it's interesting that the, how come the nine wood and the hybrid are a matte matte finish head just where and, it's higher lofted oh because uh, the different, other slightly different material on the top yeah so they moved they did the carbon top to shift the cg to the bottom is that right yeah, yeah. so that I mean, just so looks that, so that last hybrid went 97 feet in the air 97 feet in the air interesting to see what this does so we've the ping hybrid that Fraser's got, yeah. that not hybrid, sorry, nine woods. I hit 102 foot in the air. Okay, yeah. I'll hit it. 
Well, you've got the ten. Now, now the other hundred. <laughs> So it goes a lot higher than the hybrid, definitely. Well, which is kind of what I want. With yeah. that kind of number, I want it to try and stay on the green. Yeah, because this, this isn't a club that you're hitting off the tee. This is one, obviously. Yeah, this the is green. the fairway, yeah, 200 yards away or yeah. whatever I'm carrying it on the day. Yeah, shot. That felt a bit nicer. Yeah, 185 total, so we're definitely in, in the ballpark. We're as there there about 100%. Do you think the other shaft will get me that extra bit of. Uh... Yeah, it's just going to be a little bit stiffer, it'll just help you yeah. out. Thanks for all your help. That'll so, awesome. just to summarise what we have settled on, Adam, so yeah. we've got three wood max HL. HL. Yeah, max D. Max D HL at 16.5. Yeah. We've got the seven wood. Seven woods, yep, yeah, 21 degree. 21 max degree, D. max D. And then we've got the nine woods. Which yeah. is just the max. Which is just the max. And all with what shafts? So the Kylie Red, so Mitsubishi, uh, Kylie Red, 70 grams, dude. 70 grams. So big, big dog. Boy, big boy shaft. Awesome. Thanks for your time. Yeah, yeah, that was that. that was really good. On, and um, make sure you check out link below QR code here now, just below the driver, um, where you can go see Adam for fitting yourself down here in the southwest. Really appreciate your time and thank you, Callaway. Brilliant. Cheers, guys. What's up, guys? So that's a fitting over with, with Adam. So I hope you um, enjoyed that and found that um, information beneficial in some sort of way. Um, if you haven't been fit before, obviously, you can see it's not an intimidating environment. Very friendly. It, it landed pretty much bang on what I expected. A stronger lofted three wood, seven wood and a nine wood. Really happy with, with the results of those. And yeah, I'll have all the details down below so again big thank you to adam and callaway for having me today really enjoyed it if you guys are enjoying this content as well please give us a like give us a subscribe below my name's oz this is big swing golf and we'll see you next time cheers guys